Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, my name is Dorix and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to how to add a custom countdown timer on OBS Studio. I'm not sure if this works on Streamlabs OBS, but I'd suggest that you do this on OBS Studio, alright? And uh, if you find this video helpful, a like and maybe a sub would be very much appreciated. And also if you play Fortnite, use the code Dorix in the item shop, hashtag add. But now let's get into the video. So a custom uh, countdown timer is good if you have a, let's say, a starting student screen and you want to know when you want to let your viewers know when the stream will actually start, or uh, yeah, stuff like that. And so the first thing you actually want to do is go down into sources, click plus button, and text. Add a text source. Now make sure that you name this text some something this has with the timer, so you know that this is a. Uh, custom that is countdown timer text that you want to have um, you, uh, you'll see why you should do this so let's name this countdown uh, text like this yeah okay uh, now text doesn't really matter what you type just type in timer so you know this is a timer text font you can change whatever you want like this okay maybe have a color on it red gradient with um, uh, maybe white yeah you can, it doesn't really matter what you do here, just so it fits with your overlay and stuff. Uh, then you, once you feel like you're done with your text, click on OK. Uh, drag your t timer wherever you want to have it, maybe in the middle or something. When you feel like you're good with your text, you want to go here to Tools, click on that, and Scripts. Now you should come to uh, this little page right here. You want to p press on the plus button down here. And then you should come to like the files on, on OBS Studio, and you n what you want to do right now is click on the countdown.lua. I'm not sure what that stands for, but just want to press on that open, and there. All right, so now we can change the duration of your timer. Maybe you wanted two minutes, maybe you wanted three minutes. I don't know. Yeah, you just, just make sure that it fits to your video or music in the background or something like that. Text source, you want to just choose the text source that you use for your countdown. So, this is why you want to name it to, so you know which one it is which. As you see, countdown right there. Start, and that is honestly how we do it. Just close it down, and here is my timer on two minutes. Uh, as you can see, it's rolling right now. And I also forgot to mention that you want to change the final text to whatever text you want. You want it to pop up after the, the countdown is over. So, so the default one is starting soon. So um, you can change it to whatever you want. Uh, let's do like this. I don't know. Change it to, to the thing you want. This will appear after the countdown is over. And if you guys have any questions on how to do it, then please leave a comment down below, and I'll try to solve your problem and help you out. And I'll leave a like in the video and subscribe. As I said before, that would mean a lot, really. And with that said, see you in the next video. Peace.